Hey y'all, uh, my name is Amy. I am a software engineer at Rancher Labs, and I actually started there in March and learned about this like crazy new thing called containers and Kubernetes. Uh, so I'm gonna attempt to talk to you about it within five minutes. Uh, so obviously I can't go into too much technical detail, but uh, I'll try to give you a good start and good overview overall. So the idea is, is that uh, you want to be able to abstract away your infrastructure um, so that application developers uh, can just release their code into the cloud, whatever that means, right? Uh, it's sort of this like really vague term that just means a bunch of servers. Um, so at the core of Kubernetes is containers. Um, and the way I like to describe containers are that uh, they're a baby computer inside another computer. The baby computer being your container and the other computer being the server. Uh, so you may be wondering why would I want to do this, right? So the idea is that it provides great resource isolation. Um, it also uh, allows you to utilize your server more efficiently. Um, and the main thing is that it abstracts away your infrastructure, which is more clear here. So now what we're going to do is pretend I'm an application developer. Um, so the main idea is I, as an infrastructure software engineer, do not need to uh, trust you as a developer. So we want to build in failure uh, into our infrastructure um, sort of uh, orchestrator, right? So what we're doing now is we're putting an application inside a baby computer. So on your, le on your left there is sort of a pictorial representation of what's happening. So locally, you're developing, right? You have all these sort of uh, versions and operating system differences that you don't want to deal with when you are developing into production. So here I have Alpine 3.6.2, Python 3.7, and then I have a, a bunch of setup scripts. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm copying my application binary uh, into my container. And I'm exposing port 80 to expose my baby computer to the entire world, right? Um, you can't just depend on uh, just like sort of leaving your baby computer and just like plopping into a server, right? There's, uh, your baby computer is going through sort of this existential crisis. It's asking questions like, where should I live? So this is under the realm of scheduling. How do I talk to other, compu uh, other computers? Other containers, sorry, uh, that's under the realm of networking. How do I talk to the world? So how do I route traffic to my baby computer? What happens if I get sick, right? And this is where Kubernetes comes in. So Kubernetes, I like to think of this as sort of the sort of like organizational abstraction on top of containers. All it's doing is it's organizing baby computers. The first abstraction is we have a pod, and what this is is scheduling unit. And all this means is that uh, all so a pod consists of one or more containers, and all of the pods, uh, they are scheduled onto one node or one server, and they're always coupled together, so they depend on each other. And uh, one pod is reached through an IP address. A deployment is um, one or more pods, um, and the idea is you have this idea of actual versus desired state, where um, let's say I have a deployment of three, what I want to be able to do is to always make sure that three pods are up and running. Then I have something called services, where let's say you want to group together deployments, right, or uh, pods, and you want to be, always be able to reach them via uh, an, a, address uh, within your cluster. So we can have something called like service A or service B or front end and back end and they'll always be able to reach, it, reach each other within the cluster. Um, and the final component of Kubernetes is called an ingress controller. And so what this is, is that external traffic in, uh, from the internet is able to reach uh, to your baby computer within the cluster. So you'll have some sort of endpoint like foo. Um, it'll reach service A through um, the endpoint foo. Service A will then route traffic to your deployments or pods uh, within that service. And um, now we have a bunch of YAML files that uh, basically just um, is the photo beforehand. So we have a deployment, we have a service, and we have an ingress controller. Um, and I hope that you have a good foundational basis now uh, for what Kubernetes is. Once again, it's just basically uh, a way to organize all of your baby computers together. Um, so thank you for, so much for your time and allowing me to tell you about Kubernetes within five minutes. Yeah.